Hey everybody, what's going on? Fabian for Liberty, FabianforLiberty.com. So I wanted to first off thank all of you that uh, posted positive comments and just were uh, really enjoyed my Manzanar uh, little documentary, if you will, that I did about the Japanese internment camp Manzanar and how really chilling it was to actually be there, walk the grounds, and, and, and be at a location where fellow Americans were rounded up for no reason whatsoever, all under the guise of national security, and basically... Uh, you know, five years of their life just taken from them. And after they left to the property that they had had to sell or that was you know, basically confiscated by the government, they didn't even get that back. So this is a part of history we don't even hear about, but insightful nonetheless, because today we see the beginning ratcheting up of this amount of tyranny by the government and their fundamental, aggressive, brazen behavior in taking away our constitutional rights, which is a very slippery slope. Best place to start here would be what happened to the editor of the Guardian uh, newspaper in the UK. Now, apparently, um, he was approached by somebody that was working at the behest of the Prime Minister of the UK, and, um, or of England, and um, basically saying, hey, listen, all that information that you guys have, that you released because of your contacts with Eric Snowden, we want you to basically give it all to us and act like it never happened. Well, comes to find out, this was actually coming from the, uh, the Obama administration. The U.S. government uh, contacted somebody in the, up in the high in the food chain over in, the, uh, in England and basically said, put the pressure on this guy. Well, today, his uh, partner, uh, he is a, a gay man, his partner was... Uh, um, or yesterday, was basically seized at an airport. He was, you know, held without, um, for no reason at all, as form of really a payback. At some point, he was, you know, they asked him everything about his life. They they wanted to know, you know, what link, if any, he had with, you know, the guy running The Guardian. This, my friends, is the beginning of tyranny. This is the beginning of government acting brazenly, acting in the manner where they believe they can get away with anything that they want. There is no judge, there is no jury, there is no protector, or no, or not even protector, but there is no, there is no more human rights, individual rights, equal justice. It's a completely different ball game, and that's where we're going into right now. And of course, all this stems around the economy, in my belief. I mean, yes, they put in elected officials, or so-called elected officials, that are power-hungry and believe they know what's better for your life than you do, and it's the central planners. But they couple that with, we need to do something right now because the economy uh, has structural failures. You know, I, I post comments, or I, I, I post videos, and every so often I get, like yesterday, I got a comment of, you know, hey, what happened to the economic collapse, right? I'm sure you hear this as well. And I, if you're like me, you don't want to be the cheerleader about a, a, a economy that's collapsing. You don't. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the guy that's like you know, laying my stake on. Hey, the economy is going to collapse. I think it's wonderful. You know, I don't want that to happen. In fact, if you guys have been watching my show for a while, I've always said I hope that I'm wrong about this. Okay, and like any economist or anybody that follows economics, you know that you make changes if you run a business, if you run you know anything, you know that things change as things change, right? You need to change your call. You don't stick with something as things, as you get other data that comes in and you're like, hey, wait a minute, this is different. I better change my, 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 my approach or I might lose my shirt or think I might go out of business or whatever it may be. Well, that's the case with the economy now. Many Austrian economic uh, economists, you ask them today, they would say, well, we thought we would have collapsed five years ago, four years ago, whatever. Well, they didn't because no one really thought the Fed would commit openly to a dollar destruction policy, which is, look, we're going to print until, you know, uh, until we can't print anymore, until it's to crack a boom. In fact, I've heard a lot of liberal uh, economists talk about how we could have a $20 trillion, a $40 trillion debt and everything would be fine. There would be no problem. Okay, this is really what they think here. Now... I've, as you've known, I've, you know, six, about almost 12 months ago, made the comment or made the, changed my forecast where I said, look, I don't think we're going to have an economic collapse anytime soon. In fact, it could take another two to three years because I think between now and then, this will be the mother of all collapse, but it'll be centered around 
complete inflation by the Fed just totally ratcheting it up, coupled with a transition of the not only the global the global world reserve uh, currency but also a transition of the engine of economic growth um, and don't take my word for it take George Soros's word for it who is on record saying we need to transition away from the U.S. as the world engine of growth to the Chinese lastly I want to just tell you there's a great great um uh, interview by Stephen Lieb on King World News. If you don't know King World News, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever, but they do have great interviews. He has a great interview on the alliance, and I've talked about new alliances now for a while, between the Russians, the Chinese, and the Germans. As you know, I've documented at length how I believe the global reset will take place between the Russians and the Chinese working together. That's abundantly clear to anybody who has half a clue about uh, world economics or just global economics, what's going on. But in light of all this, we have to continue to live our lives, uh, be the best we can be, try to, you know, my opinion, be an entrepreneur, do whatever you can to break free from the bondage that's being set up. Uh, because those that don't have a plan for their life, I could guarantee you this tyrannical government has a plan for your life. And you're not going to like their plan. You're going to much you're much likelier like the plan that you have for your own life. I'm Fabian for Liberty. Thank you for watching. I'm out.